you smiling about? Hey there. Telling you, I've got it covered. I'll be with you right after I maintain some order and dispense a little justice. And I suppose you'll follow that up by raising the dead. No, but I may heal the infirm later in the week. Time permitting, of course. Sir, we've had sightings of Werner back in the city, and there's been an increase in chatter between slaves. Workers. What? We call them workers. Helps with morale. Reminds them that they might earn their freedom someday. Whatever we call them, they've been gathering makeshift weapons. All right, all right. Put your guards on alert. Tell them to be on the lookout for anyone loitering too long downtown. And keep a watch on Medea at all times. Anything big happens, it's bound to go through her. Now, I've got a very important meeting with our new friend. So if anything big comes up, you use the intercom. Yes, sir. Okay, break's over. Nice work in the hole, New Blood. Knew you couldn't be one of our normal workers. So that begs the question, who are you? And what are you doing in my city? You heard right. And after a show like that, how could I refuse someone of your talents? While the rest of the world scrambles to survive, we have an army, industry, and thanks to a recent surprise, we've got no need to fear radiation. But we do have a few loose ends that still need tied up. Tell me, do you know a man named Werner? And you know he's not to be trusted. He escaped after a failed coup, and I believe he's working with the slaves to plan a revolt. You know the slaves, and you've met Werner, so you're in a prime position to put an end to him. Do that, and I'll make you a lieutenant in my army. That's what I wanted to hear! You've got a bright future ahead of you in the pit, New Blood. In fact, I'd like to let you in on a little secret, and show you the amazing advance that'll secure our place in the Wasteland. Now I think would be a good time for you to meet the cure for yourself. Let's take a trip back to the lab where Sandra can explain. Lord Ash, Don't let me the keep you. Are rioting, and someone's Don't let them. me keep we you. We need you out here and fast. Don't let me. Damn it, I'm on my way. Just head back and talk to Sandra. She'll explain all about the cure. Then you'll see why you have to put an end to Werner.
Test one, two. Looks like this thing is on. Marie, if you're there, this is your father speaking. Ishmael Asher, sometimes called Lord of the Pit. Now, I hope you're hearing this ten years from now, sitting on my knees safe and sound. Right about now, I bet I'm looking pretty silly. But things don't always work out the way we'd like. There are a lot of risks, including what your mother would do if she heard me talking like this. And I'm not about to risk leaving you alone without knowing where you came from. These tapes are for you, so you can know who your father really was. Marie, the first thing you need to know is that I wasn't always the Lord of the Pit. Long before I was a king, I was a scholar and a soldier. In fact, I was in the Brotherhood of Steel. You've probably heard about them, but you may not have heard what we did to the city, the Scourge. When we came here, the pit was just a breeding ground for trogs, cannibals, and worse. The commander had us torch the place and take what we could. The pit had useful technology, but it was suicide to stay here. So when an explosion left me buried in the mill, my brothers were sure I was dead. I don't blame them for leaving. I probably would have. We thought nothing could live in the pit. We were wrong. Three, you know those fights in the mill's arena? Well, its first fight was when I woke up to someone pulling me out from a pile of rubble. At first, I thought it was my brothers pulling me to safety. Instead, it was a scavenger trying to steal my armor. She didn't get it, but I learned she had a whole family of scavengers. They'd make raids into the city for gear from the mill, and that gave me an idea. This was the only working steel mill we'd ever seen. In a world of leftovers, it was a chance to build again, and that was worth any price. The scavengers saw me as a god, so along with my brotherhood know-how, it was easy to set up the basics. We started to build a city. As word of a new settlement got out, the city started growing, and fast. When raiders attacked, they'd kill the leader and recruit the rest. I had to. The city's disease meant we couldn't have children, so recruiting was the only way to grow. And as we grew, the mill needed more workers. And yes, that meant recruiting workers by force. I'm not proud of it, but it's the only way to keep the city supplied and armed. But it was always a temporary solution, until our best scientists found a way to cure the city's epidemic. Sandra and I worked on it day and night. And after one particularly late night of work, we were blessed with the cure. It's the cure inside you, Marie. Even now, we're doing everything we can to figure out how to share your gift with the city. We're keeping you safe, of course. So by the time you're old enough to hear this, you'll already be a hero. Congratulations, Marie. You've already saved us all. I knew you would. You might be coming here, but I'm afraid I was preoccupied. Little Marie here is an angel, but she can still be a handful. I'm Sandra. Asher set me up here to work on the pit's medical research, and Marie here is our daughter. Our little miracle, really. Oh, I hate it when he calls her that. 
I swear, it's a terrible thing to call his own daughter. Well, this is a nice surprise. Apparently you and Asher are the only other people who know anything about science in this place. Yes, it seems that our daughter was born with a naturally acquired immunity to any form of mutation. It's nothing short of a miracle, honestly. I'm still trying to figure out why, but she may just hold the key to stopping the Pitts trog problem. Hell, maybe other types of mutations too. Oh no, these tests are perfectly safe. In fact, between the crib and her uncanny health, she's probably the safest child in the world. Asher and I would never risk her health. And if that means it takes longer to develop a full cure, then, well, everyone else can wait. You're a dear, but things are well in hand here. If you really want to help, you should probably go deal with whatever had Asher rushing off in such a hurry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to take care of one last test before Marie's nap time. I'm afraid I'm very busy, so why don't you go help Asher, okay? I'm afraid I'm very busy, so why don't you go help Asher, okay?